I'm doing a pick a card reading for you. That is all about your pet. So this is a pet reading. What does your pet want to tell you? What important message does your pet have for you? What would they say to you if they could actually talk? And nowadays, I guess they can, especially uh, little puppies, you know, and cats, because they have the little buttons now where you can put words to them. But, you know, um, just to get a little bit more detail about what your pet would tell you, you know, or what they want you to know, um, in case you don't have your trained pet using buttons, etc. Okay, so let's find out. Four options to choose from. Option one, option two, option three, and option four. So what I want you to do is choose the option that stirs your passion and excites you the most. Pause the video and choose. Okay, so you chose this stone here, option one. Let's see what your pet wants to tell you. First card is grief. We have this doubt card reversed. I'm just going to leave it like that because it came out like that. And then the well watcher. The Four of Wands, the Map Maker of Destiny, the Ten of Water, this is the Star, and finally the Ten of Air. So what does your pet really want to tell you? So the the first two cards that uh, kind of jump out at me are the Well Watcher and the Four of Wands here. And those cards, watching, staring, looking really hard. Um, and then I see the Four of Wands here and there's a cage in the background and there's a bird of some sort sitting on that man's shoulder and this bird looks like it's in a cage also like looks like that to me then i see grief doubt reversed i release the need to know all the answers and that's reversed ten of water and the ten of air so with the Well Watcher and the Four of Wands, I kind of feel like you have, well, definitely a bird, some kind of winged creature. Um, Cause it makes that very, very clear to me. There are birds all over this spread. Birds in this card here and here. So I can tell that you have been staring your pet down or your pet has been staring at you intensely so this could be some kind of staring contest <laughs> that your pet has gotten engaged in not because you're actually playing a staring game but just because you're doing it so your pet's like okay well i guess we're staring at each other now right so there's a lot of watching going on all this watching makes me feel as if you're a helicopter parent um, it makes me feel as if you don't really turn or let the reins go too often with your pet, whether it's a winged animal or, you know, a puppy or a cat or whatever kind of pet you have. I feel as if you're a person who does not loosen the reins. So you may be in the process of training your pet, or it could just be that you like to control their environment, you know, make sure that they they do things in a certain way, their routine is strict. I can tell you that they don't appreciate that all the time because of the grief card. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I feel as if 
this is you watching the watching your pet so intensely maybe because you're afraid it's going to fly off run away something like that but your pet does not appreciate that very much they want you to stop <laughs> at least not all the way but like i feel like it's kind of creepy to them like you just staring at them like that why are you staring at me <laughs> like your pet is wondering why why are they watching me like this you know um it makes them feel more trapped if you let your pet roam free um then you just staring at them and watching them all the time whatever it is for whatever reason it could be because you're training them i mean and i get that strong sensation that you're training your pet to do something or to act a certain way you may want your bird to just sit on your shoulder you know like in this picture here if you have a bird or you may want your kitty cat or your dog to do exactly what you say when you say so you're very strict and regimented you are tight on the reins. The map maker of destiny says you are creating their destiny for them. You are telling them exactly what to do. And your pet does not like that. Your pet wants you to know that it has free will. And it would like to be free sometimes. It would like to make a decision for itself sometimes. Is what I'm seeing. So the message your pet is giving to you is please loosen the reins. Please don't be so tight with the leash. Can you just let me have a little bit of roaming time and freedom? Can you not watch over me like a hawk? Um, that's the message I feel is coming for you. Let me see if there's anything else I'm getting. Yeah, I think it would um, allow for more bonding if you were a little less strict with your pet. You know, um, that's another thing I'm getting with a ten of water. You would have a better relationship and it would be less stressful and your pet would feel less alienated from you or the need to less of a need to alienate itself from you that's what i'm feeling or his or herself depending on if it's male or female i also feel yeah definitely your pet wants more freedom with the star your pet wants to be free to control their own destiny or their own fate sometimes. Yeah, you don't have to hover over them so much, mom and dad, <laughs> or mom or dad. Um, you know, be a little bit more loving, I'm feeling, and give them some more free time. Trust that they'll, um, they'll hang around and they won't run away. I mean, with birds, that's a little iffy, but even the birds don't like it. They don't like being gawked at. I'm feeling like you just, you're always watching them, seeing what they're doing. It's telling me they don't like that course of action that you're taking. Um, mm, let's see what else I'm seeing here. Yeah, it just makes them a little nervous and um, it's telling me something about snacks that you give that are a little bit too sweet or too sugary or maybe maybe your pet I feel like some of you are putting your pet on a on a restrictive diet you're watching what they eat what they put into their bodies and they don't like that they miss their snacks some of the snacks as I said maybe a little bit sweet and sugary they like that and they miss it and they don't like the restriction the new restriction you've put on them so overall, the name of the game is stop restricting me. <laughs> I am not happy with that. I'm my own dog, cat, uh, bird, you know, whatever, turtle, fish, whatever it is that you have. They feel restricted by you. They feel like you're controlling too much of their environment, too much of what they do. You're, you're hovering too much. They want you to let loose of the reins and give them a little bit of freedom and bring their snacks back. You, you took something from them uh, that they want. A snack that they used to have. They had to give that up and, and they didn't want to. That, that's okay. I think that's all I'm seeing. Um, I don't think there's anything else I am missing from this, but I just wanna make sure.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my trusty writer deck if I'm missing anything. Okay, let's see. Is there anything I did not mention or I didn't see? Anything I left out of the message, yes or no? Is there anything I left out for my group one? My lovely group one. Okay, three of coins. I think that's a yes, I missed something. So let me see what it is I missed. Oh, all right, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they're, um, Kind of wants is like it's taken me such a long time whatever it is you want me to do um it's hard it's taking a toll on me i think that's something else that they want you to know um it's very hard whatever you're asking them to do it's a very slow and arduous process for them and you're asking them sometimes to do things that they're not quite capable of or that is very difficult for them so let me just Pull another card as I said and clarify. Yeah, we've got the Ace of Spring. Um, there's a lot of climbing going on on that thing. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like skills. You're asking them to, to develop some skills that they really don't have or it's very difficult for them to do Climbing, maybe? Climbing something? Or there's something there that they're climbing, like raising the stakes or something like that, or staking something. Wh whatever that means to you guys, um, I think that might be a specific message for some of you. So whatever that is, whatever that means. But the big deal is control here. They'd like you to let go of some of the control. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of training going on here. I feel like you are trying to train them to do something and it, it's getting a little difficult for them and they want you to know that. Um, I think that's all I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like um, you want them to do, to be, or to do more than they can really do or to be smarter than they really are or something like that. And it's really taking a toll on them. You're restricting them in a way that they don't like. It could be for their own good, because as I said, I do see diet in here somewhere. She could be trying to restrict their diet, but, or try to give them some more exercise, but it's arduous and um, they don't appreciate. But anyway, I think that's all I'm saying. So if you enjoyed this reading, please be sure to let me know by hitting the subscribe button. <laughs> Leave a comment, let me know, you know, um, because this is all very uh, particular, and since there are more, uh, many people watching, there are many different interpretations for this. So if there's something here that I miss, and you wanna share with me and let me know exactly what it is that's going on with your pet, I would really appreciate it. And if you wanna know when I post another video, consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can know exactly when I do that. Give me a thumbs up, share, and as I said before, subscribe, 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 and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Option number two. If you chose this stone here, it's red jasper with a little bit of green in it. Let's see what message your pet has for you. What does your pet want you to know? Let's find out. We've got reversed freedom, and it came out like that, so I'm going to leave it like that. Honesty. Honesty. Be king of swords. The seven of earth. The Emperor. Ooh, your pet is a little badass. Five of Fire. Five of 
Five of Swords. Azrael. Five of Air. The Altar Princess, or Priestess, sorry. And finally, the Eyes of Beauty. So we're going to stick that right here. Alrighty. Let's see what your pet wants to tell you. Something important that we want you to know. Alright, because I'm seeing honesty and freedom. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And the eyes of beauty. I'm getting like, I don't know why. I don't even know this song. It sounds like a song, Lion Eyes, Lying With Your Eyes, something like that. I don't know if that's a song. It's coming to me like it's a song. So, okay, let's leave that there. Positive expectations, clarity. Positive expectations. So, again, this feels like another, I'm training my pet. I'm asking my pet to do something. But this time, you're not following through. So with the freedom reverse, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Somewhere there, you're restricting your pet. They don't have the freedom that they want. Um, and then honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Positive expectations. Somehow you're training your pet and you set these expectations for your pet, if you do this, I will give you this. And you're not consistent. You don't always follow through. So your king of swords, your emperor pet, is very, has the potential to be a little bit aggressive. They're, I wouldn't even say aggressive, they're autonomous. That's their personality. They do what they wanna do. That's how they are usually. But if you're gonna take the crown from them, right? This is the king and this is the king, King Kong, right? If you're going to take the crown from your fur baby or from your pet, five of swords, and you don't want any conflict from them, at least be honest with what you're doing. Because right now they feel like you're a liar. You're promising them things that you're not following through with. So if you're saying, hey, if you behave yourself, I will give you this treat. Or, hey bud, I'll come back and get you in about five minutes and take you for a walk. And they're expecting you to do that. And you don't do it, you don't follow through with what you say. Then you're a liar. And that's what they expect from you, right? They expect for you not to do the things that you say with the freedom reversed and the honesty card. You're not giving them the things you promised them. So when you don't do that, then you have problems because you're not consistent. So if you're trying to train your pet to do something because you're, your lack of consistency, you're not getting the results you want. You're getting a fight from them. And these, <laughs> your baby is holding a grudge sometimes because you're like, wait a minute, no, I can't believe you. You told me you'd give me this last time and I didn't get it. So hmm, I'm going to do what I want to do. That's basically what I'm feeling here. So you're not going to get that change from them until you give them what you say. Do what you say. Um, be consistent and stand by your word. Set a schedule, a routine, so they know exactly what to expect. Because they feel like, well, um, my person did things at this time and that time and that time yesterday. But then today... They're not really doing that. What is going so what's going on? They don't know what to expect from you. And in their eyes, that's not being honest with them. Or if you're promising them things, trying to train them, hey, hey, I'll give you a treat if you do this. Come here, come here, I'll take you outside for a walk if you do this. Hey, hey, I'll let you sit here if you do this. Um, you need to be consistent with them because if you're not consistent with them, they start taking that personally. And I know that's a silly thing to probably say, but they do. Because the thing is, your, your pet is an autonomous being. This pet in particular is very strong-willed. 
and they do what they like. So they must like you in order to be behaving for you to some degree. I mean, it's your pet, you know, um, you've had them since they were young, but naturally what I'm saying is their personality is very, I'm independent. I make my own decisions. I have free will. And they want you to stick by what you say. If you're trying to train them or whatever, even if you're not trying to train them, don't promise them things that you don't follow through with because that's building up like the wrong kind of momentum or is that the right thing to say? It's like you're making the wrong moves if you're trying to train them. And it's just the wrong moves for bonding, period. It's going to create a little bit of conflict for you where they're gonna try to take the crown from you, you understand? Um, or try to outdo you or show you that you don't own them or, you, well, I shouldn't say that, but you, you're not the boss of them. Right? You, so they're going to try to outdo you. I'm my own boss. You can't make me. They're going to be a little bit stubborn. They're going to try to take those swords from you. Because that's naturally their personality. So if you want them to change or to surrender to you, and they just want you to be a little bit more consistent and give them those positive expectations. Um, or fulfill, I'm sorry, fulfill those positive expectations. And that makes, according to this card, things more clear for them. So there's no confusion. So they work best with the five of air says cycles. Um, doing things consistently brings positive change. And that way you will be in control. You'll be able to control them. Versus if you just let them figure, hey, my person's not consistent. So hmm. they revert to their natural personality. That's what they do, right? And they're going to be a handful and they're going to bring challenges to you. And they, they're they going to be themselves. That's what I'm feeling. So a lot of preparation, according to the altar princess, is needed for your, uh, your pet. They like consistency. You have to have what the altar priestess is doing, a ritual, um, a routine for them. They want you to know that because if you don't do that, you're going to lose them and any hope of ever controlling them. And that's what's going to happen. And that is what I'm seeing for you. If you enjoy this reading, please be sure to let me know by subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to uh, know when I post another video. Consider subscribing to my channel. Leave me a comment so I know what you think. And especially um, for this pal here, let me know what's going on with your baby, okay? And um, I will see you again next time. Bye-bye. Option three. If you chose this stone here, three okay so what does your pet want to tell you what important message does your pet have for you let's find out first card we have is love Ooh. second card indecision oh I think I know what this is. Okay. Magician. Uh-huh. The wise woman of Wonderland. Integrity compromise. Four of water. The ace of cups in reverse. Sacred Union, Seven of Fire, Eight of Swords, and finally, the Air Servant. Ooh, I feel like your pet is really fluffy. A lot of fur. Okay, um, yeah, as I said, I think I know what this is. 
Love and indecision already told me your pet feels like you don't love them anymore. There's something that's causing you to go back and forth with the indecision card, but they also can't decide if you still love them. So sad. I feel as if it's for, I'm getting two reasons. One, the magician says you're having trouble maintaining a consistent attitude. Um, you're up and down in your feelings. And it looks like it's because of love. For some of you, a love relationship did not work out. You got your heart broken um, and you're still going through it. For others of you, if it's not love, there's something there that is really causing you to be emotionally unstable. And because of this, you've withdrawn and your pet isn't seeing you as often. So there's a degree of separation anxiety that's happening here between you and your pet. Um, well, your pet has separation anxiety. I mean, you don't, but you know. So they're wondering if you love them because you're not seeing them as much anymore. They're wondering what's going on with you. Your attention could be elsewhere. So you could be um, getting out of this funk with dating, with uh, love and you're dating again. And um, because you're out having fun with friends and dating and doing all this stuff and enjoying your life, you don't get to see your fur baby as much, right? Or you don't get to see your pet as much anymore. And so they're wondering, why are you not with me so much anymore? Why are we separated? Do you not love me anymore? Oh my God. And the four of water shows your pet being really sad. And then the ace of cups reversed is like, oh, I don't know if they love me anymore, right? That's the indecision. And I see, as I said, for some of you, it's just really, you're going through it. Uh, you're going through a tough time right now in your life for whatever reason. It could be related to romance or not, but you've just separated yourself from your pet more than usual. Some of you are just out dating more, having more fun, doing more things, you know, attracting more partners. And you're leaving your pet wondering what is going on with you? Why aren't you here as much? Why aren't you playing with me as much? With the magician card there, you're not playing with me as much. Is it because you don't love me as much? Is it because you're out with your new love? The person you love more than me, you know, or the, the thing you love more than me. So there's that. And they're a little confused over it, wondering why you're gone. That's really what I'm seeing. Um, let's see what else I'm getting here. Some of you are planning a getaway. You're going away. Oh, they're not happy. You are not taking them with you. They're going to be alone, alone. And they don't like that. You're, some of your friends or family may be babysitting or pet sitting, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and so... Your pet doesn't know how they really feel about the people or person you're leaving him or her with. They're not sure about the treatment they're going to get. And this um, is making them feel a little bit blah that you're not there and listless a little bit. So if they seem a little down and sad, it's because you're never around anymore. You're always gone. Why are you always gone? I don't think you love me anymore. And that's what they're going through. So if you're seeing that, you know, like their body language is changing, it's because um, for some of you, your body language has changed because maybe you're a little bit down and they pick up on that and they feel it's something that, you know, like you're separating yourself because you don't love them anymore. Um, and the Eight of Swords is just about restricting your your time with them or they're being restricted, like you, you put them away, you lock them up, and you you don't spend as much time playing with them anymore. You're doing other things. Alice in Wonderland, going off, having adventures and whatnot. So, um, let's see what else I'm getting here. Yeah, they just miss the play, that you, you know, how playful you used to be with them. Um, how they used to be the ones that was, you know, your top priority. And now they're just feeling kind of down because they don't feel the same love from you anymore. So your pet's wondering what's going on. So maybe you should let them know, <laughs> and, you know, by um, showing them some more attention, let them know you love them still. And um, you're still there for them. That's really what I'm seeing. I'm just going to be quiet for a second and see if I get anything else. And if that, let me... Yeah, 
Yeah, I just get like arena. Or, or orange, orange juice? Something like that. I feel like when, uh, you guys are going on a, uh, to see some kind of uh, sporting event. Maybe that's why you've, uh, you're leaving them behind. You've maybe been into sports lately or going to see a sporting event somewhere. That's probably why you're separating or, you know, or leaving them for a little while. They don't, they're really unhappy about that. Some of you have gotten into a love affair. It's telling me. Important business, it's telling me again. Yeah, some of a variety of reasons why you guys are separating from your pet or have separated from your pet more than usual. And it's just giving them a little bit of anxiety, separation anxiety, and they're feeling kind of down and listless. That's what I'm seeing. Not enough play. They're kind of locked away a little bit and they're not happy with that. You know, um, that's it. That's all I'm seeing. So if you enjoyed this reading, please be sure to let me know by subscribing to the channel and leaving me a comment in the, the uh, comment section below. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I post another video. Consider subscribing to my channel and um, let me know what this is all about, okay? Why does your, your pet have separation anxiety? What's going on? Why are they, you know, what's happening? And anything else that you'd like to share with me because I love to read you guys' comments. So anyway, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Option four, this stone here. This is your reading. So what message does your pet have for you? What important message does your pet have for you? Missed one there. We've got the sun. Ooh, radiant. We've got fear reversed. Oh, wow. Okay. Peace. Ah, I see where this is going. The world. Four of fire. The hungry ghosts. The fool. Oh my. Earth servant. Mm-hmm. Ringmaster of Scrutiny. Yes. <laughs> the King of Wands. <laughs> okay. And the Knight of Fire. <laughs> oh, this is too sweet. <laughs> All right, that made me chuckle. I'm just looking at that... Uh, I don't know what that is, a rat crawling on his belly. All right, so you've got a really young uh, baby pet, who, however, whatever pet you have, it's young, right? You might have gotten it when it was a newborn or, you know, whatever, and you're super careful with your pet, and that's good and everything. Um, but just looking at the world, you know, peace, fear, I see that your baby is fearless. They don't care about anything. Okay, the fool says they get into adventures, they go sit out in the sun, they crawl around with their bellies, you know, and um, this reminds me of like a puppy. Uh, they just go out there and, and try to, you know, prowl or whatever. But um, even that little cat will do that too. Earth Servant says they're inexperienced, they're immature. This could also be your, your, your pets, um, when you got your pet around Capricorn months, December, January um, of whatever year. Could also be your pet's birthday, you know, if you know when they were born. And I just see your your pet is hungry. The hungry ghost says, obsessed with going out and exploring and, you know, being detached and just doing whatever. They want to be free like the grasshopper, free like that lemur to sit in the sun. They have no fear. See, that fear card is reversed. It brings them peace to explore. That's what I'm seeing. Um, see what else yeah they just love to move and this is how they learn and it helps them to feel relaxed as I see with the the sun card and the night of fire they love going on adventures they love 
it's telling me about horizons, like seeing new horizons, doing new things, exploring the world. They love doing that. Um, they love the challenge, right? They're all about the opportunities. They're all about it. And they're not going to run away from home. They want you to know that you are home and they're going to come back to you. They're just hanging out. They're just having fun. That's all, you know? Um, and yes, they're young. They want you to know, yes, I know I'm young or whatever, but I need to go out and explore. I need to scrutinize things. See the ringmaster of scrutiny, right? I need to see what things are. It's like human babies, right? How they put things in their mouths just to figure out what they are. And they're always crawling around and doing things. That's your baby too, your fur baby, okay? They, they want to do the same things. They want you to know, yes, I know I'm immature. I know I'm just born. I know I'm young, but it's okay because I know what I'm doing. You know, this is in me to do this. I have to explore. And even if it's, you know, you, um, not just the innate part of your pet wanting to explore because they don't know things and the world's a novelty to them, this pet in particular is very um, adventurous, he or she likes to explore, to get around, you know, to know things, to do things, to scrutinize, to have the sun beat on them. They want to know everything. They're curious and they want you to know that it's okay. Please don't restrict them. Let them do what they do. I mean, you can watch over them or whatever, but they're not going to hurt themselves. They're not going to try to do anything to hurt themselves. This is just their nature. This is who they are. They just like doing these things. They have to do it part of them. They have to explore. They have to learn new things. It's nothing unusual. They're just like this. This is their inner being. This is who they are. So that's the message for you. Please let me explore. I know I'm young, but it's fun and I like doing it. And this is how I learn. And I like the challenge, you know, and the difficulties and I like overcoming obstacles. And I, I just want to learn about things. And they definitely believe in coming back home. They're not going to get lost, try to get lost on purpose. They're never going to do that on purpose. Um, they like home. They like going home after being outside and playing and all of that. They enjoy it. It's very comfortable. And the four of fire tells me they see you guys as a tribe, like uh, you're part of their tribe or, or family is, is more the word. So they know you're a family, right? However they see that you're this, for them, you look the same. See the four fire, how all those limes and lemons kind of look the same and they're all grouped together. Yeah, your family, they love you. They're always going to come back to you, but they need to go explore. You need to let them explore, even though they're young. They know, they know they're young. They know they're new to the earth, but they just have to see everything and touch everything. And it's okay. Don't be afraid for them. Okay. So that's the message they had for you. The little fool. <laughs> Adorable. Okay, so yeah, I think that's all I'm seeing. They just want you to chillax. 